Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next live on War Day video with One Hive Genesis. Uh, we're in an arranged war against We Are Spartans, and as you can see, the arranged war is about one hour in. They've already used a few attacks just on our Town Hall Nines, and uh, they've had some mixed success. So they're starting to make a dent in some of our bases. We're yet to attack. And I'll be trying to catch some live attacks for you guys. Not sure how long I'm going to record this video. Might uh, record a little bit tomorrow for this same video and try to catch some Town Hall 10s or 11s. But typically, I focus on the Town Hall 9s just because you guys see a Town Hall 10 attacking live whenever I do a live attack because I'm a Town Hall 9 or a, because I'm a Town Hall 10, I mean. So I want to show some Town Hall 9 live action for sure. And I know that you guys also like the Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 live action outside of just my live attack videos when I'm attacking so I'll see what I can do and if I have time I will uh, extend the oops here we go actually we got Yaji going in but um, basically before this attack goes too far in if I have time tomorrow I'll try to record some Town Hall 10 and 11 action but who knows maybe we'll get some tonight I think we always have a couple early attacks by our Town Hall 10s on certain bases Anyway, though, he's coming in here with what looks to be a at least a hybrid attack, has a couple lava hounds and some balloons, so we'll see how he uses that. Uh, coming in, you know, a little distance away from those air defenses, they're mostly in the center of the base there, so has a big deal to get, a big part of the base to get through, but you can see, I talked about this in the recap, I think, of the Alpha War, uh, really there's a lot of value to get right there in terms of air troops, there's uh, or air defenses, there's archer towers, uh, wizard towers, all that kind of stuff. The queen is kind of walking a little bit. We'll see what she does. Has the poison for the CC troops, the bowlers, the king, everything moving in, and the queen's actually going to go back in. I think the CC troops pulled her in. So things are looking really good right now, and I'm not sure if that jump was early. I think it was because he couldn't get the wall breakers down, but either way, his troops have busted their way through into the middle of the base here. They should get some air defenses taken out. They are kind of straying towards the top, and the queen is at the bottom there. You can tell he dropped the poison because he thought his troops were going to engage her, but it looks like they're not going to, so we'll have to see how he deals with this. Already coming in with the Lava Hounds, uh, his kill squad took out a big part of this base, and I, I was trying to... Uh, say before that also he got a lot of wizard towers and archer towers taken out on the left side of the base so there's mainly cannons for his balloons to have to deal with which always helps the expos do appear to be on ground but they just went down so or ground in air but they went down so not a big threat he's coming in here with some balloons but that lava hound just popped uh, those pups are probably not powerful enough to take out the queen on their own but he should start with cleanup at this point looks like he has some wizards down so cleanups already started there's just a few different defenses left. That air defense has a little bit of juice in it. I think that entire group of, of balloons is going down. That level 30 queen is pretty brutal. This is going to be interesting though. He has, you know, most of the base taken out. He has his heroes at full health. I think he has the juice to get it done. It's just a matter of time, I guess, if the queen is going to stall long enough because she'll probably take out that wizard and uh, she might even take out the king. So we'll see. He has 40 seconds. Uh, looks like just the, or there's a troll Tesla over on the right side here. That is going to be an issue, plus the builder's hut at the bottom. I think time will get him, if nothing else, because it looks like the queen will go down right here to some of those lava pups as the king tanks. But who knows, he might have enough time if that queen can make her way out. If only he had like an archer or something. Uh, the, actually, that golemite heading over for the Tesla, now it probably won't do anything. So yeah, never mind, I guess. there's not. I thought it was the builder's hut for a second over there which the Golemite might have been able to damage. But you can see he got the Builder's Hut right there. Unless that Tesla has like one hit point left. Nope, it's at full health. Uh, so nice try to Yaji, 99%. Had he known about that Troll Tesla, he probably could have dropped a balloon on it. Considering how many balloons he lost to the Queen alone, I think he had plenty to spare to take out that Troll Tesla if he had seen it earlier. So nice try. Um, we'll go ahead and back out, see if there's any other action going on. Uh, looks like that's it for us. So I hope you guys like that attack. I think it really came down to the wire. And uh, nice job, Diagi. We'll go ahead and give him a nice try. Uh, but he's a little bit upset about that troll Tesla. Anyway, though, I've talked about in the past, those troll Teslas can save you uh, from being three-starred on the first attack. And I think that just showed here. So anyway, we'll uh, step back for a second. And I'll be right back when the next person goes in live. Okay, we have the next, uh, we have Rich going in here. Uh, let's see what he can do against this base. Looks like it's pretty compact, and I've talked about this before. 
just at first glance you can tell in this space all that point defense the you know the expos the archer towers the cannons maybe even the teslas all that's crammed right into the middle of the base there so i think this is definitely the right attack strategy bring a few extra golems bring those bowlers with those pretty high level heroes 25 24 get in there you know a couple jumps might be necessary you can see he has two jumps but if he gets in there those raged bowlers can get through the base pretty quickly there might be some giant bombs to contend with but hopefully they don't take out the bowlers or anything has the nice poison down ahead of time for the CC troops, which actually haven't come out quite yet. It looks like there's bowlers inside the CC, which is something you typically don't see, but uh, that might affect his troops. I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, comes in with the hogs here, just starting to take out certain buildings. Uh, gets that mortar, and uh, looks like his bowlers went down pretty quickly. I'm not sure what happened. I took my eye off them for a second, and it seems like his entire kill squad just went down. So definitely not going to get in there and get the queen taken out. So I think this attack is going to be a fail plus all those teslas are actually on the other side of the base so way too much for his hogs to contend with his queen will go down in just a moment i'm actually really not sure what took out his main maybe it was the double giant bomb set right there uh maybe it was the bowlers in the cc maybe we'll take a look at the replay after this and see what happened at least for my sake if not you guys i guess you guys can always just go back in the video but i don't have the luxury of doing that so i'll see what ended up happening uh, right there the queen will take out those last few hogs uh, nice try to rich and uh, we'll give him a nice try. I hate the autocorrect on some of the words, or some of the abbreviations, rather, uh, that Apple does. But anyway, uh, you can see here, this is not going to be anywhere close to a three-star. I think a good plan, though, and I think that's the type of attack these bases typically are vulnerable to. Just uh, maybe this guy's giant bot. We'll see what, what actually happened. I don't feel qualified talking about it quite yet. Um, actually, I can't look at the replay till he's done. So I guess we're just kind of stuck here. Um, he'll probably let this go the last minute or so. So um, just sit around 47 seconds. Yep. I don't know if I'll cut this away during the video or maybe I'll just make you guys watch it. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, you can see here spectators are dropping out. Just a few more buildings to take out. And one thing I guess while we're waiting is that typically let the attack run, even if you're you know kind of upset you didn't get the three star. Let the attack run. Maybe it'll trigger some spring traps, possibly some giant bombs, depending on how the things are are going. Uh, you might reveal some extra stuff about the base. So never end an attack just because you think you can't get the three star. Because even if that's probably true and you can't, you can still reveal some more stuff for the second attacker. So. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, watch this replay real quick, see what happened. I'll fast forward um, to this point. So looks like the golems go down. The funnel was great. The baby dragons got the job done. Nice deep funnel for those bowlers. Went to the second layer, so even buildings inside the base didn't pull them away. That was awesome. Everything moving in has that jump. He'll have the rage right here. He might have missed the king's ability. Uh, there go the giant, the first giant bomb at least. And I guess those CC bowlers, uh, yeah, I don't. Those CC bowlers actually did some solid work on his own bowlers. Just everything went down really fast. And uh, sometimes that just happens, you know, not a great explanation why. It just, that's the way it worked out. The golems died pretty quickly. So I'm not sure what I would say to this attack. Just nice try to Rich. The plan wasn't quite there, but I think it was the right, the right idea at least. So anyway, let's back out and make sure there's nothing else going on. Doesn't look like it. I guess we'll hang around and, uh, and wait for the next live attack. I might catch one more and then take a break. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay guys, I'm back a little while later, and this is the first one I caught as I was waiting. Uh, we have Mr. November going in live here. Happened really quick. Look, looks like he's already getting most of his troops down. Uh, but it looks like another of these uh, stoned hobo attacks has another two baby dragons for the funnel. Um, pretty similar to some of the other ones we saw. You can see he's creating a nice wide funnel for those bowlers. Uh, dropping down some wall breakers kind of a weird base but once again you can see it's pretty compact it has uh these kind of skinny short compartments that are that are good for getting the bowlers in and will help you 
uh, get some extra damage going. Drops in a few hogs for the lure, doesn't quite get everything out, just a few archers because the king and a bunch of point defense were defending on that side. A few more hogs and a few more archers come out along with a wizard and the baby dragon. Goes ahead and rages up his bowlers, gets some great value here. You can see they're taking out multiple buildings and the queen sitting back taking stuff out as well. So things are looking pretty good. Some of his troops are starting to go down, I think. That one baby dragon uh, wreaks some havoc. Pops the queen's ability. Uh, she actually looks like she'll go down in just a moment right there. This one might not be a three-star either. Now, he does have the queen taken out and uh, has some hogs and a heal. But that being said, there's still a lot of the base left up, plus the skellies, the king. Just a lot to deal with. We'll see how he, how he gets through the base here. But it's probably... might. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Looks like his hogs are starting to go down. Uh, he's deployed all of them at this point. And uh, they're starting to thin out a little bit with the king and everything on them. This one's not going to go for a three-star, it looks like. Uh, but a very nice try to Mr. November as those last few hogs go flying the spring traps. But wow, yeah, guys, you have seen quite a few fails. Um, and you know what? Maybe that's kind of why you guys watch these videos. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe you guys are looking for the fails. So if so, I guess I'm delivering in that sense. But anyway, uh, basically for this video, one quick update is I'm going to just probably have a few more attacks tonight. Probably going to be more Town Hall 9s. Uh, so it just it's easier for me to uh, record them all tonight before I go to bed. That way I can be free to plan my two attacks tomorrow morning without having to worry about recording an attack because they're a lot more spread out once you get later into the war. And plus, it just makes uh, a little easier for my upload schedule to upload this video tonight before I go to bed. So uh, you guys might not see a Town Hall 10 live attack, and I do apologize for that. You'll see uh, another one of my own live attacks, and I'll try to catch some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 action uh, in the next one of these videos I do about a week from now or so. But anyway, we should still see a few more Town Hall 9 attacks. We'll go ahead and back out, see if there's anything else going on right now. But nice try to Mr. November. And uh, I'll sit around, maybe come back a little later, and see if I can catch some more action. Maybe a Town Hall 10 attack. We'll see how it goes. But either way, I'll be back with uh, whatever goes in next once I sit down to record again. So here's the next attack. Looks like we got Shrek going in live here, and he has an air army cooked up, it looks like. He's going to do a Zap Quake on one of those air defenses, get it taken out, and then looks like he'll go in with a few balloons and a haste. I think uh, that might be for a sea sealer. He's just testing to see if there's any, uh, any troops that would target air troops. Looks like there's not, so he doesn't have to even worry about that, uh, which should make it a lot easier. Uh, for his queen, because I guess his queen would have dealt with it if there were air troops, but there's not. Anyway, though, comes in with the queen up top. Looks like she's just going to trade, uh, get the enemy queen taken out. That'll be pretty much it. Not sure what the king's doing on the left there. I mean, he'll get like a Tesla, but uh, not sure the main idea with the king. He is going down, though. I guess he's tanking for some, some wizard towers. But at this point, it's pretty much just deploying the air troops. The queen is up. She'll take out a few more uh, buildings before she goes down. Has the haste and uh yeah the haste to propel the balloons into this these air defenses that next one's going down right there two air defenses left looks like he has another lava hound making its way on in he might be a little short on lava hounds actually no he probably has one in the clan castle so he actually should be fine um i think the king did a good job actually he tanked for like like two wizard towers so that was some pretty good value there and uh, the lava hounds are that one last one just pops but the one from the clan castle that level four one which has so much hp is still up uh so this one's going to be a three star it looks like the nice balloon on the back side for a the wizard tower it doesn't actually tank for it but good idea there and he has so many air troops left up a ton of balloons uh the full lava hound pretty much and then a few troops for cleanup so crush this base awesome plan and I think, really, you know, it helped. That I guess I don't know what was in the CC. Maybe a bunch of Valks or something. But I, as far as I saw, there was nothing in there that targeted the air troops. So we'll go ahead and uh, continue the Wu train. Awesome job to Shrek, like I said. Um, this is going to be the last attack, though, guys. Hope you liked it. Um, like I said, I wish I could have done some heavy hitter action at the Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 level. 
but you know I gotta get my attacks in tomorrow so you'll see some more of that uh, in the recap and in some other videos you'll see plenty of the heavy hitter action there so thanks for watching hope you guys liked the video let me know what you think in the comments and I'll be sure to check that out one more time thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later bye sec the Tron out